makeup. Dali na. You have school. Let's get ready. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's morning here. I'm dropping Samantha in her school. Ah, di ko alam kung paano nagagawa ng mga nanay na maraming mga anak kasi hindi ko kaya yung tatlong anak. Lalo na ito, pasaway itong batang itong lalaking ito. Eh, Napakapasaway talaga. Hey, Samantha. Bye-bye. Love you. Thank you. Mami, look, I'll find, I'll find enough. So, nice. I, can, I can buy everything. Yeah. So, i-drop ko na si Macho sa school niya. And then, oh, wait, na kami ng bahay. Love you. Gumikis. Mommy! Mm. Nasa apartment na kami. Kararating lang namin. Galing sa paghatid sa school, sa dalawa. Dito na kami sa bahay. Gutom na ako. Hindi nag-breakfast. I'm gonna make some fried rice. So let's go you guys. Make some fried rice. Ituturo ko sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng simpleng fried rice. <laughs> it's not like, it's so hard ha. Huh? Ilagay mo muna yung oil, yung onion, at saka yung garlic. And then, ilagay mo na yung rice. Lagyan ng konting asin, and then tapos na. <laughs> I'm going to fry the dried fish that I made yesterday. So, kakain na tayo ng breakfast. I'm gonna have my fried rice at saka tuyo na gawa ko kahapon. Actually, hindi pa siya tuyong tuyo. So, mamaya ipapatuyo ko pa siya at saka ipapakita ko sa iyo yung result later but I cannot wait to eat it so I fried some today for my breakfast because I'm hungry and I have my sawsawan, alam, uh, uh, suka, at saka onion at saka sili. Si Margo, she's eating um, strawberry with Nutella. She's crying because she cannot find her. So let's try if my homemade dried fish is good. It's right. It's not good. It's not bad. For first time. <laughs> it's very very good. I will make more dried fish from now on. <laughs> I don't have to go buy it anymore. I will just make my own stuff. I think making your own food is always better. Binuro ko na ito sa asin for 12 hours. Ngayon, i-dry ko na siya. I have the fish here na binuro ko na. So, no! i-dibilag ko na siya dito. Ilagyan ko ng cage para hindi siya... I hope the bird doesn't eat it. That's why I put some cage in there. Because <laughs> there's a lot of bird in here. So let's see how it turns out later. Oh my dried fish is dry now. Oh,
So I'm going to marinate the beef for beef fajitas. I'm going to add the garlic, onion, and the cilantro, and all the herbs for Mexican beef fajitas. Keep watching and stay tuned. I'm saving half of the cilantro because I will be using it for the salsa. Now I'm going to add some salt, pepper, Cumin and paprika. Olive oil. And I'm squeezing one whole lemon. I will mix this together and I will marinate this for a few hours. Now I'm going to stir fry uh, bell peppers onion and a little bit of garlic for our pinitas vegetables I will let it cook until it's a little bit tender the onion and the bell peppers are almost a little bit brown so we'll finish Time to barbecue the beef that I marinated. We gonna heat up the pajita bread in the barbecue grill. I prefer doing this in a charcoal barbecue but uh, this is pasta so we do the lazy way. <laughs> so this is our Mexican lunch. We have lettuce, we got a bell pepper, we got the beef, the pajita bread, avocado and the salsa. Beans. Mexican beans. Mm -hmm. Beans. After lunch, we're gonna go to the beach because the kids is asking it since earlier and <laughs> they wanna go before lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to the beach because it's sunny today and it's almost summer. It's almost sunny. And it's good. 
see. Go to the beach yesterday. Yeah. Go to the park. Every day they go to the beach. Every day, every day. But the water is still very cold. Yes. But they still go swimming in the water. Yeah, I remember. He doesn't know how to use it. What's up? You're hungry? Hmm? I'm thirsty. I'll drink the Malo Ramon. I'm hungry, I'll eat. You're hungry? Mm -hmm. 